Seaweed and is a valuable substance that is mainly obtained from the sliminess of the brown seaweeds. It is also a type of soluble fiber and a polysaccharide. It was discovered around 100 years ago by Professor Johan Killing in Sweden, but it was not until 1996 that the apoptosis effect of Ukoiran was revealed at the Japanese Cancer Association. And since then, Fukuina has been part of great medicinal and nutritional supplements. The introduction of Fukuina supplements began around 10 years ago. But the question is, why were the majority of cancer patients relying on Fukuidan rather than other supplements in the market? And the answer is because Fukuidan offers three essential anti-cancer effects. Apoptosis, or programmed cell death, is one of the mechanisms by which organisms limit the growth and replication of cells. If apoptosis did not occur, there would be no way to control cell growth and tissue homeostasis would be lost. In fact, this is one of the key mechanisms behind cancer. The genetic alterations in the cancer cell not only lead to increased cellular proliferation and growth, they also lead to loss of apoptosis. Along with too much cell growth, there is too little cell death in malignant tissue. Apoptosis occurs in normal cells to allow for removal of damaged cells, maintain a constant number of cells in regenerating tissues, and is an important part of embryogenesis. In an average human adult, 50 to 70 billion cells undergo apoptosis per day. Apoptosis is characterized by changes such as cell shrinkage, mitochondrial cytochrome C release, fragmentation of cell DNA into multiples of 180 base pairs, and the ultimate breakage of cells into small apoptotic bodies, which will be cleared through phagocytosis. But in the case of cancer cells, they cannot undergo apoptosis because they are abnormal. But many studies have shown that fucoidin can reactivate the mechanism of apoptosis, especially on cancer cells. The second anti-cancer effect of fucoidin is suppressing cancer cell angiogenesis. As the tumor grows, it will eventually reach a size where it will need to have additional vasculature to sustain continued growth. To achieve this, the tumor cells excrete certain proteins to stimulate blood vessel growth into and around the tumor, a process called angiogenesis. One of the major pathways involved in angiogenesis involves vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF, and its family of receptors. There are seven subtypes of VEGF and three receptors that bind differently. VEGF affects the endothelial cells that line the blood vessels in a number of ways. It can cause them to proliferate by activating the extracellular kinases and MAP kinase signal transduction pathways. It can induce proteins that break down the basement membrane to allow endothelial cells to migrate and invade. These proteins include matrix metalloproteinases, or MMPs, urokinase type plasminogen activator, or UPA, and its receptor UPAR, as well as the tissue type plasminogen activator. It makes vessels more permeable, allowing molecules and fluids to leak out. When MMP is secreted into the extracellular space, it degrades the extracellular matrix to allow proangiogenic factors to reach the vasculature. With the extracellular matrix degraded, Proangiogenic factors, including VEGF, can reach receptors on the endothelial cells of blood vessels surrounding the tumor, thus stimulating the angiogenic signal in the vessel. VEGF also helps the new endothelial cells survive by upregulating inhibitors of apoptosis. VEGF also activates the endothelial cells to express the proteins necessary to allow the new blood vessels to form. The end result is the growth of new blood vessels into the tumor. With the growth of new vessels into the tumor, additional nourishment can be delivered to the tumor. New blood vessels in the tumor facilitate further tumor growth. But Fukuyan has proven in many studies that it can have the ability to inhibit or suppress the angiogenesis on cancer cells. 
Once food coriander is absorbed in the intestine, it activates a series of immune responses. It is this activation in the immune system, the one that starts the fight against cancer. So far I've been talking about the three anti-cancer effects of Fucoidan, but it's also important to mention about the ability of Fucoidan to alleviate the side effects of the chemotherapy and radiation therapy. So no, some of these side effects are vomiting, fatigue, and loss of appetite. By improving the immune system when taking Fucoidan, the, ca the cancer patient can start to feel better and alleviate these side effects.